Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, last day of June 2022. Uh, we need to be very careful with today's uh, monthly candlestick close and of course uh, tomorrow is uh, the weekly close as well. So very interesting day. Uh, let's find out what's going on in the Forex calendar today. Manufacturing PMI data from China had been published overnight and uh, uh, data beats the expectations of 49, uh, sorry, of the previous reading 49.6, but it's less than uh, market forecast of 50.5, the actual reading 50.2. GDP from the UK is in line with the expectations 8.7% uh, and the first quarter is 0.8%. Uh, percent. Uh, we are waiting for the German unemployment change uh, scheduled for release 5 to 10. And then we are of course waiting for the GDP uh, from uh, Canada. The market participants expect the drop from 0.7 to 0.3%. Initial jobless claims uh, will be released today as well from the US. 229k uh, was the previous reading. This reading might be 1000 less. At the end of the uh, afternoon, half past three, ECB President Lagarde will give a speech again as well as the G7 summit continues. Let's find out what's going on on the uh, charts. Daily time frame chart of the British pound to the American dollar is showing us very, very clearly uh, that the deep uh, retracement in the wave B uh, has not been yet uh, completed. Uh, we might even uh, notice the fact that uh, this uh, this down move broken below the short term trend line, the blue one. And uh, right now we are testing the technical support 1.2091. If we break below this support, it will be harder for the wave B to bounce towards the wave C. So uh, please uh, pay attention to the current uh, development uh, on this uh, on this market. Of course, uh, bulls needs to break back up above the uh, blue trend line if they want to continue the um, uh, the up move. Uh, we got one more uh, level here that needs to be added. 1.2322 is the new uh, technical resistance and this is the uh, you know immediate technical resistance almost immediate technical resistance abc outlook is bearish however this retracement is uh, very very uh, very very deep it, it's about 50 percent of the last wave uh, to the upside which means uh, this is the wave a in our in our scenario let's find out what's going on on the british pound to japanese yen the British pound to Japanese yen bounced strongly from the level of 159.97. Big pin bar made here, uh, indicating a possible move, to, possible move to the upside. As you can see, we made a, a lower high 137.80. And right now uh, we are consolidating. We are consolidating between two levels. Uh, 164.62 is the support. 168.44, 168.64 is the uh, technical resistance. So not much is going on here. We are moving sideways, consolidating here. However, the larger time frame trend is still up. This is clearly the uh the uptrend and uh, this trend might be resumed very very uh, very very quickly so please keep an eye on this uh, on this situation here right now the um the channel is not longer that much applicable here we will just make it uh, look a little bit more uh, different so what i want to do is to extend this channel right now uh, from that low here uh, to this low here and it looks like we got something like this so that's the completely different different channel we are still moving inside of the channel and if the GDP w uh, to the Japanese yen wants to go higher it needs to of course make another higher high so far outlook is horizontal US dollar to the Canadian dollar 
daily time frame chart of the US dollar to the Canadian dollar beautiful bounce from the ABC corrective uh, movement to the downside V shape almost a reversal back towards the high at uh, 1.3076 1.3077 one pip higher is that a uh, candle so that's a kind of a uh, interesting thing however uh, we got this ABC pattern to the downside done. Now we might continue to move, uh, move uh, higher. Of course, what is the Fibonacci retracement of the last move to the to the upside? We retraced almost, almost retraced um, uh, 50%, 1.28. The low was made at 1.2818, and now the market is bouncing back up uh, towards the. Uh, towards the recent uh, swing high we got this uh, line here let me just change the color for the orange as usual short term trend line if we break above this trend line uh, 1.3044 1.3081 is the next uh, target for bulls on the US dollar to the Canadian dollar the the bigger outlook the bigger outlook is not that bullish anymore because it looks like this market is is trending as you can see up and down up and down up and down in a some sort of the uh, horizontal um, horizontal uh, trend however please notice the fact that we keep making higher highs and the market is not that keen to make a lower uh, low so it looks like this is a like a sideways mic market but skewed to the upside so please keep an eye uh, on this situation as well uh us to the canadian dollar is done let me just find out what is going on on the s p 500 the s p 500 index has completed the wave a to the upside if we zoom in we can clearly see that wave a is uh, has been done this is the pin bar this is the confirmation and right now we are testing the technical support 3811 probably we will move a little bit deeper here on the, the wave c in order to uh, complete it uh, and we should expect the wave b to hit the level of 3715 and then wave c to the upside should be uh, should be made how much will you trace here we are traced 50 percent between 50 and 61 percent so it's not bad uh, at all so we should uh, expect this market to uh, continue uh, the move uh, to the downside let's wait for the wave b bottom and then of course let's wait for some kind of a uh, market clues uh, regarding the fact that whether the market wants to go up or continue the uh, the wave b down movement towards uh, 3676 or even um, lower towards the lows of the 3640 however uh we need to definitely break above the level of 61 percent 3971 in order to uh, to hit one of these three levels here those are the targets uh, for the wave uh, for the wave uh, c on the s p uh, 500 last but not least let's take a look at bitcoin the bitcoin market has made the wave a uh, to the upside and now is uh, in progress of the wave B of course uh, we need to bounce soon uh, from one of these levels uh, 19,000 maybe uh, maybe 18,000 because uh, if we want then we are dangerously approaching the loss of the wave B loss of the sorry loss of the wave C of course and loss of the wave uh, 5 this this loss are located at uh, 17 uh, 17600 uh, so please keep an eye on this on this level if we break below this level this situation won't be won't be good at all so that's the outlook for the for the bitcoin completing wave b uh, and uh, riding uh, higher in the wave c please keep an eye on this situation uh, as well that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye